Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you uh, that uh, need a tool like that. And believe me or not, if you're working on cars guys, you're going to need this, uh, this tool. Even if you, uh, if you don't work on cars so often for household uh, needs, you still need that tool guys. This is an endoscope by Depstech. We're going to review it today, stay with us. And you'll be surprised what that little tool can do and how much work it can save you. Now practically working on vehicles in some cases it can save you probably up to 10 hours of work and we'll explain how all that will be shared in this video today if you need to see where you can get one from we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can buy it from and uh, also uh, let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can so let's go ahead start on it and show you what it can do so the tool guys is this one right here it comes with a display integrated battery 4.3 inch display full hd uh, it's dual camera which is something really convenient and we will explain uh, why so let's go ahead put it to the test and see what we think about that now so we're going to put it to two tests guys today let's say okay you have problems with your car uh, getting cold let's say called P0420 which uh, means catalytic converter deficiency which means that most likely you have problems with the catalytic converter but let's say you bought the car used okay you don't know what happened to it right you don't know even if you have a catalytic converter which in some cases when they get plugged up uh, what people do they will remove the exhaust they will uh, practically punch a hole through the catalytic converter empty everything and uh, that way the car will be running again but it will not meet emissions and practically it will be illegal now in order for you guys to ver verify if the catalytic converter is inside still uh, you will need to do quite a bit of work you have to remove almost the whole exhaust system these two bolts most of the times when you remove them they will snap you will need to drill you will need to install new bolts and that itself can take you guys hours of work so uh, what we are going to do now here first, okay, we are going to remove the oxygen sensor only, which practically, okay, takes only a few seconds. And by removing the oxygen sensor, okay, we can uh, go ahead, okay, and uh, inspect on the inside with that camera. Now, it will be the same procedure, procedure like having, okay, the exhaust in the vehicle. The only difference will be that it will be laying under the vehicle. So, we are going to go ahead okay unscrew the sensor now and we'll show you guys okay how we're going to uh, scan it inside so the scanner okay the the screen and the controls are super easy to use now uh, you have the dual okay you have the dual right here camera okay let's just move a little bit slower you can switch to single you can switch to uh, the other view and we can switch to double view okay that's the two cameras together and if you look at that catalytic converter, I'll just go to one side. That catalytic converter is still present, but that catalytic converter is getting clogged up, guys. Okay, you can see if we come closer to here. Okay, check it out on certain angle. I saw that it was getting clogged up. On this side, it looks gray. okay no it's good a little bit on the outside so i know these things but as a whole okay it's good so uh, what we are going to do now okay let's hold it here for a second okay you can see that's a catalytic converter it's still present on the inside you can turn the okay the brightness down of the light okay so you can clear it a little bit and now we can switch to the double view and we will be able to see both okay both parts of the catalytic converter simultaneously almost so definitely yep just a little bit of problem that black spot right there that's a little bit of a problem you can see but as a whole okay that thing right here but as a whole the catalytic converter is still present and it's still good so Definitely guys, okay, definitely uh, that saved us quite a bit of work instead of removing the exhaust which could take us up to three hours, okay, with complications. Now, that engine itself, in order to verify what's wrong with it, we'll need to remove timing chain components, oil pumps, we'll need to remove guys the cylinder head, okay, and that itself can be up to 10 hour work. So what we can do now, okay, through that whole 
uh, there is problems with cylinder number one okay and if we come right here now on cylinder number one okay you will notice that the connecting rod is not attached to the crankshaft guys and the crankshaft bearing is shot so definitely guys okay okay i'm trying to get the camera not to get light on it let's get a single view let's hold that 180 button quick okay that's the side view here let's let's switch to the other angle okay again hold the button no just hold it that just flipped the image okay and now that crankshaft bearing okay and the connecting rod bearing is completely short guys so okay you can see definitely problems there so that engine practically is short you need a lot of work and you can verify something like that okay super easily okay and see what's wrong with it so uh, you get the idea guys do like that can save you uh, save you uh, so much work okay and can save you so much time that you can actually make quite a bit of money by saving that time and uh, quickly diagnosing things so uh, you can use it it's a uh, water resistant as well you can use it for uh, air conditioners you can use it for multiple things uh, what i did in the past i used one of those the uh, heater blind door on a mercedes the one that regulates cold and hot air uh, was actually uh, not working so i inserted this one all the way through the heater and i was able to diagnose that the door was not moving at all and that that's what the problem was so uh, you can see guys okay you can even find in our case okay right here the, the snap connecting rod as well so that engine is completely shot guys so you get the idea uh, hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you considering that product we'll put the link in the description of the video below thank you for watching and see you next time